What's up, YouTube? Don't forget to save, aka Sam, back at you with a hump day video. Um, as you guys are, you can see on screen, I am going to be talking about the Friday the 13th, 1980 version of, of the movie. And I just want to point out, yes, that is Sean's autograph on the cover. Um, it's kind of a little keepsake I have here. Sam, all the best. Sean, we wish you guys the best over there, Sean. So with all that said, guys, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about everything, and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We've got more content coming out. So with all that said, guys, Friday the 13th, um, we're going to start off with the premiere date, which was May 9th of 1980. Um, the original working uh, title of the script was A Long Night at Camp Blood, and... Uh, we're going to go through a list. Okay, so uh, Betsy Palmer as Pamela Voorhees, Adrian King as Alice, the final girl. Um, we got Kevin Bacon in there. We got Harry Crosby, who, uh, fun fact, was the son of Bing Crosby, who had just passed away. Uh, photographer, okay, see, so, uh, Harry, Man <clears throat> Harry Manfredini is the music. Uh, Stephen Minor was the. Uh, uh, Associate producer. He's done. Uh, he's still in. Uh, he's still employed in the industry today, I believe. Maybe not horror movies, but I think he does TV stuff. Of course, written by Victor Miller, and produced and and directed by Sean Cunningham. Now, I was thinking about this here. This little fact here, guys. Just a rundown of everybody in it. Also, Tom Savini was special effects. Of course, he just coming off of uh, Dawn of the Dead. Also, uh, Walt Gorney, uh, a fam uh, semi-famous actor, was uh, Crazy Ralph. Crazy Ralph is my favorite bit of the Friday the 13th series, and so figured I'd get that in there. Now, I was thinking about this the other day, like how long Sean's been in the movie business, and, you know, it's kind of amazing. Uh, Sean, Sean Cunningham's first film was in 1970, so it's 2022 now, so we're talking over 50 years in the movie business. Imagine that, guys. 50 years of doing anything, let alone movies. Like, it's already hard enough doing a movie, but, like, 50 years of it is just outstanding. Um, it's just one of those, uh, it's like watching Otani play baseball, basically. Um, so, yeah, uh, Tom Savini on special effects. And, uh, of course, I said Harry Manfredini in the music. Uh, so, w w what's the deal here? Uh, Friday the 13th was, for those who aren't aware, just some general information, it was a... Uh, it was a slasher movie in the 1980s. It was actually uh, John Carpenter's Halloween. You know, you attach a holiday or a well-known day and you make a horror movie out of it. In, in Halloween's case, Halloween. And, uh, you know, Sean figured what a better way to uh, to capitalize on that than uh, the Friday the 13th. And that's why he, he titled it Friday the 13th, which turned out to be an absolutely brilliant idea. It grossed like something like... Uh, Oh, man, hundreds of millions of dollars worldwide and was like made on a, you know, way under that budget. I can't remember the exact amount of the budget was for the movie, but needless to say, it made a whole lot of money. And uh, it was the quintessential who did a bunch of uh, teens at a summer camp. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's it's all who, you know, the story of Jason. Now, here's the thing about Jason that I find kind of funny. Uh, he was just, uh, you know, he was, he was the little boy that drowned in the original movie. So like Jason's technically not, I mean, it sets the groundwork for the story of Jason Voorhees, but it, it, Jason Voorhees himself isn't in it. And, you know, uh, I'm not going to spoil the ending for anybody who hasn't watched it, or maybe you guys want to rewatch it at some point. I would recommend it. It's a, you know, it's a fun little movie. It's a slasher movie, movie from the eighties. You can't go wrong with it. Um, like, I said, who done it? You're trying to figure out who who it was that uh, you know was killing all these teens, um, and I'm not going to spoil it. Like I said, I could do clips and stuff like the other people do, but like I want you guys to go and revisit this. And if I show you the whole movie, then that defeats the purpose. So yeah, definitely go check it out. Um, I also wanted to point out uh, something I found interesting in it when that was the uh, strip monopoly uh, uh, bit in the movie. Uh, I always wondered where that came from. Um, as a, a, well, back when I was able to uh, <clears throat> do uh, game competitions and tournaments and stuff like that, I was a Monopoly champion, so like if you guys ever wanted to see some girls naked, just have them play Mono Strip Monopoly with me, and you'll get your wish. So anyway, 
with all of that said, guys, uh, yeah, it's just a fun little, uh, you know, uh, slasher. It's a whodunit, and it's it's a wonderful movie. Uh, you know, the the endings, the ending, man, the ending is worth watching on this one. I, I think the Friday the Thirteenth franchise has got endings of movies with their strong points. Um, it's always fun to see how they're going to end it. So. Um, with all that said, guys, that's my kind of overview and review of Friday the 13th. Like I said, uh, Sean's had five decades now in the in the industry. It just blows my mind. He's been doing this <clears throat> longer than I've been alive, and that's crazy to think about. So with all that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed my uh, talking about it and just, you know, getting it all out there. So with all that said, guys, until next video, I love your hobby, and it will love you back. Peace.